Uh, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akar Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders, Waaki and Waakwaf, and I say Shalom in the heavenly Father's true name is that Yahweh and His unbegotten Son, Bashem, in the name of Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the Holy Tongue, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to bring out of uh, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17 through verse 20. Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, and it reads, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words of my mouth and give them warning for me. Write that warning that we have got from heaven, Father, and he has set us up to be watchmen unto the house of Israel. Sound the alarm, blowing the trumpet. You know, when we do sit-down lessons. Watch out for these uh, signs, biblical signs. We see what's taking place in the world today. You know, we do a sit-down lesson. So what we talk about when we're out there on the streets uh, teaching. You know, sound the alarm, blowing the trumpet. You know, warning the Israelites what's taking place in the world today and what's about to take place in this near future. As we approach those times, telling them that they are the Israelites, Come back to the Heavenly Father and tell them the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Hamashiach, Yahweh, and tell them that what respectable tribe that they're from. You know, so, you know, the Heavenly Father ordered us to warn the Israelites. The warning that we had got out of His mouth as being His servants and prophets. That warning that we got from Him, and then we warned the Israelites. And that's our, that's our duty, that's our duty and our job to do, you know. As I read it again, Ezekiel chapter 3, verse 17, Son of Man, because we are descendants of the Heavenly Father. That's why I said, Son of Man, Son of Man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at my mouth, give them warning from me. Verse 18, I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die. Thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn. The wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood I will require at thy hand. Verse 19 Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall surely die in his iniquities, but thou hast delivered thy soul. And again, when the righteous man thou turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, I will lay a stumbling block before him. And he shall die because thou hast not give him warning. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness will he have done shall not be remembered. But blood, but his blood I will require at thy hand. Right. So that's why we continually need to warn the Israelites, because you know we definitely want that blood upon our own hands. You know, that's why we out there. Uh, on the highways and hedges or do sit down lessons to warn the Israelites continually to the best of our ability telling them to come back to the ways of the Heavenly Father come back to being the Israelite come back to being the sons and daughters of the Most High which is Yahweh of Israel you know continue to sound the alarm blowing the trumpet and measure the time diligently in itself as well too to the best of our ability continue on you know so with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was uh, edifying of uh, Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17 through verse 20. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Wakar Kadash, and the Heavenly Father's true name is Yahweh and His unbegotten Son, Bashem, in the name of Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo-Hebrew, the last one, Kadash, the whole tongue. And until next time, I will say Shalom.